Hello UA Path experts, welcome to the UA Path Rat Learner channel. Thank you very much for subscribing my channel. So let us see today on entry questions. So let us see so some entry questions. Uh, let us take here one entry questions. How many ways you can run the process? So how many ways you can trigger the process basically? How many ways you can trigger the process? from orchestrator or normally okay so the one way is uh, normally uh, from the jobs page so if you go to the jobs page in the orchestrator you can simply click on that uh, uh, play button so select the process and start run that process that is the one way the second way is like a so go to the uh, by using the triggers so the triggers also there is a two types of triggers are there so what is the time schedule trigger so based on the time so you can decide so every one hour or every day morning five o'clock so you can just mention the trigger and that is a timely based trigger okay schedule the schedule based the trigger okay the another trigger is like a queue based trigger so once the queue item comes into the queue a new item comes into the queue immediately run the other process this is a queue based trigger that is a one way is a time based another way is a queue based these are all the two types of triggers there's a three three ways right up to now so jobs and uh, scheduled by using the times and uh, uh, queues so what's the new queue item okay. the third third thing is like a in the third way the third way is like a so what is the third method so we can trigger the process uh from the ui path agent so in the system tray from the system tray you can just open the ui path uh, agent and just uh, uh, click on the play button so that is a run the process okay that is the third way so what is the fourth way so the fourth way is uh, creating the batch file so you can just run from the batch files also okay so you can create a ui path robot.exe slash space hyphen f space the the main dot main xaml dot the path of the main xaml okay so by using this this is another way so you, it will it will just uh, uh, the fourth way uh, it will it will you can run from the batch file so the command line so you can just use this batch file in the scheduler also windows scheduler okay the another way is like through web hooks and there is a lot of methods the through web hooks are through orchestrator api also you can trigger the process right so you can trigger the process suppose for example java uh, or suppose in the in the chatbot any any other applications you can if you want to uh, run the uh, process in from that applications different type of third party applications so in that way you can use the ui path orchestrator api through api also you can trigger the process okay and not only that's recently they just uh, launched the ui path apps so in the ui path apps also there's, there's a facility to uh, uh, start the process so if you click on the web page so if you click on the web button so any button so it will trigger the process you can pass the values arguments you can get the arguments values also that's a through ui path uh, process uh, apps some people they trigger through uh, chart bots you can trigger the process so these are all the ways okay yeah that is a uh, if anyone ask in the interview or interview or ask so in interview so how many ways you can trigger the process these are all the ways you can just uh, explain to them okay thank you very much please subscribe please share my videos we are all looking for the i mean so and knowledge uh, in ui path okay so please comment thank you very much bye bye thank you very much for watching this video friends so to get more hands-on experience you can join as a sky member please join this channel